All of the observations you make in Evidence Me feed back into an assessment area. If you log into the web suite, on the left hand side you'll see a link to assessment. This will bring you to an assessment welcome page and you can click on create filter to get going. Before we look through the filters, I'd like to draw our attention to the assessment assistant at the bottom. The assessment assistant uses the observations you have taken to feed into the data in the assessment area. You can set the parameters for the assessment assistant in the admin area. So before we go in and start using assessment, we're going to go into the admin area and have a look to see how this one's set up. So we're going to click on the admin button and click on administration. In here, down the left hand side, we're going to expand modules and expand evidence me. And then in here, we're going to click on assessment. You'll see three example schemes in here. If we click on the default and we click on the edit button above, we'll be able to see this system. So here on the left, you'll see you've got three judgments, emerging, expected, exceeding. And in the tables, these will show as EM, EXP and EXC. To the right of this, you've got the parameters. The assessment assistant would give an emerging judgment to any children who have got recorded coverage of between 10 and 30% of an area of learning or category in the framework. Children will also receive an emerging judgment against an objective when they've got one to four observations. Any emerging judgments will show in red. Children with 31 to 90% of coverage or five to seven observations would automatically receive a judgment of expected. Or children with 91 to 100% of coverage or eight plus observations will automatically receive a judgment of exceeded. This will highlight in green. All of these parameters can be changed to suit your system. You can also change the names and descriptions of each judgment. You'll see two alternative examples in here. The default alternative titles the judgments Emerging, Developing and Secure. The extended alternative has more options for assessment parameters. You can also click on the plus at the top to create your own system. Back in the assessment area, we are going to create a filter and tick to use the assessment assistant. Above this, we can choose the class or group. Let's choose our pupil premium group within Doves. Or we can choose a particular learner. We can choose to sort learners by particular tags, year groups, and we can also select the framework and the category of the framework that we want to view. You can select multiple objective levels if you'd like to. Beneath this, you've got a start and end period. By default, snapshots are generated half-termly. Here, if I click on the drop-down, you'll see Autumn 1, Autumn 2, Spring 1, Spring 2, Summer 1 and Summer 2. If I'd like to look at all the data between Autumn 1 and Summer 2 in my snapshot, I'll select that range and click on Apply. In the administration area, you can change the dates of the snapshots if you run on a different yearly cycle. In my Pupil Premium group, I've got two learners, Hayden Anderson and Polly Matha. Beneath this, I've got a series of judgments against the different areas in the framework. Let's zoom in so we can see this a bit more clearly. Some of these judgments have got a blue triangle across the corner. This means the assessment assistant has set this value. Over to the left, I can expand the areas by clicking on the double arrows. Here I can see judgments against particular objectives. If I click on the objective where the assessment assistant has set a value, it will bring up this information box, allowing me to go in and see which observations inform this judgment. We've got one in this case, but there could be several along here. I'll also be able to see when this judgment of emerging was set, and you'll see it comes up as summer 2 2020. I'm going to click on apply here. Clicking on the communication and language area, here I can see Hayden was expected in spring 2 2020 in 30 to 50 months, exceeding in 30 to 50 months in summer 1, and is emerging in 40 to 60 in summer 2. I'm looking at this in summer 2, and if I know Hayden is above emerging in 40 to 60 months, I can click on another judgment and apply my own teacher assessment. When I click on apply, that will update. Here, Polly was set to expected. You'll see when I click on it that she was expected in spring 2. I'm now going to add an exceeding judgment in summer 2 and apply. Now I've set that as an exceeding judgment, I can right click on any further boxes and it will automatically apply exceeding to them. If I set an emerging and apply and then right click on other boxes, it will change them to emerging. If I right click on an objective, it will set all learners for that objective to that judgment. When you overwrite the assessment assistant or make a judgment where the assessment assistant hasn't, that judgment will stay and the assessment assistant will never override it. You can view, edit and make judgments in the assessment area in the app on your device. If you load up Evidence Me and tap Profiles to the bottom left, you'll then be able to filter by class or by group and select a learner. 
Once the learner profile has loaded, you'll be able to view all the details underneath. You can see all the recent observations at the bottom, and then here you can see all the areas of the framework and the judgments to the right. If you tap on a judgment, you'll be able to view it and adjust it just as you would in the web suite. Any changes you make in here will be viewable in the web suite, and vice versa. If you want to drill down into a category to see the objectives, you just tap on a category title. You can keep tapping until you get to the area you'd like. You can see with these ones, it notes an observation. Again, if you tap on the judgment, you'll be able to bring up the information box and tap through to see that observation.